We like to start Mondays with something we fondly refer to as the jargon of the day. This is when we take on one word, one phrase, one acronym, and we try to figure out what in the hey, nani, nani, are the experts talking about? And why do I need to know this? Why are you hurting my head with this information? We give you first the actual definition. I then like to make as much fun of that as I can possibly muster because it feels like that's all there is to do with that definition. And then we give you the working definition, which hopefully gives you a beginning understanding of what this is and why it might be valuable to you. Uh, if it doesn't the first time around, I want to encourage you to, you know, we, we put these uh, videos separately on a playlist so that you can go and like you'll hear that term again and you're like, wait a second, what does that mean again? And you'll go in and listen to the video again and go, oh, okay, I sort of see that with what they were talking about. Watch it again and again. Some of these things, it's taken me years to be like, oh, now I get it, right? And that's okay. We're just working towards a direction. So I don't know that we've ever done this jargon term, and I love that more and more of you are writing in with requests for jargon. Please bring them. We want to build that playlist. So today's uh, term is manned frame. Don't you just wonder what the heck that means? Doesn't it sound like something you'd stick under your bed, right? Uh, what has this got to do with autism? Well, you might have heard us do the definition of a manned before, so if you know that, you're like, I don't understand what a frame would be. So let's take a look at what our actual definition for a manned frame is. It is uh, differing forms of request. For example, when teaching the child to request desired objects, I items, different man's frames such as I want object, can I have object, give me object, can be taught. Well, okay. As definitions go, it's not the worst one, right? But if you don't know what a manned is, I always I remember me sitting there with the big book that they told me, this is, this is the book that's going to help you, right? And I'd read something and I'd go, okay, um, I don't know what a man frame is. So now I go back to the back of the book, man frame. Uh, by the way, this came about after years of looking things up on Google and getting no closer to anywhere. But, but I got the big book, right? Man frame. Okay, I don't remember what a man is. Now I got to, you know, what's a man, right? And that, that had another word and that now I'm flipping the book what's this five definitions down the road I'm lost right and I got to go back to man frame and try to piece the whole thing back together okay let's start with manned and I always say think of the word command right so it's that last part of it manned um, and it's about commanding whenever somebody asks for something it's a manned so the child says to you uh 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 they're manding for something. They're just not manding efficiently. What is the child grunting? They're holding their hand out and they're grunting for something. What is it that they want? Oh, they want the cookie. So what we start to do is start to tighten up that manned so that when they request it, they get it, which means it's got to be more efficient, right? Mom knows, uh, 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 means I want cookie, right? But then when they go to preschool and they go, uh, 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 are they going to get the cookie? Maybe, but maybe not, right? We want to have it be very efficient because when a man gets you what you want, then you will man and not throw things. Because if you go, uh, 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 and you don't get the cookie, eventually a child will shove things out of the way or try to grab the cookie or potentially even bite someone to get the cookie. I want my cookie, right? So we want to start to build a more efficient way of manding for it, requesting, commanding, right? I want the cookie. So we would start off by uh, doing an approximation of the sound. So they want cookie. So we would start k, 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 which is like, because I don't know whether you're asking for the cookie or the juice, right? But if you, are, so if you're going, eh, eh, I don't know. And it's going to be like a 50-50 shot of which one did you really get your needs met, right? Frustration is going to ensue. So we start to teach k, 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 which helps me to know, oh, you want the cookie, right? And then the child begins, now we want to shape it up, you know, k, oh, and then cook, cookie, right? So now the child is manding very specifically for the cookie, cookie, right? But 
what happens a lot with a lot of speech programs, and I've seen this, there are a lot of great SLPs out there, speech and language pathologists, um, but there are some working in schools who know how to get to a child to, re to request something for a man, and they know how to get a child to label something. So, you know, they put the cup there and they say, say cup, and the child says cup. Great. Uh, manding is when they would request the cup, right? But parents will write in all the time and say, how come we're not getting to sentences? How come we're not getting to conversation? And I'll tell you why, because they're not doing the man frame. The man frame is the next step. And there's all these steps that, that get you to conversation. So we teach them to mand. And why manding? Because it's rewarding to them. I, you know, if I can go uh, 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 and I get my cookie, great. Right? I don't need to know anything else. But if sometimes I don't get the cookie, I'm now motivated to learn how to vocally say cookie if I have the facility to be able to do that. And some kids don't. We need to be mindful of that. But then we teach them how to picture exchange. That's still manding because I'm requesting the cookie and we want it to work. Right? Or we give them uh, adaptive uh, communication uh, so that they push the thing and it says cookie for them. Right? That's manding too. Pointing is manding, uh, but we want to get it as efficient as possible, right? Because we want to keep that frustration at, at bay. So eventually, we get the child to say cookie, and then we want to teach them whether it's on the iPad or whether it's with icons or with speech, we want them to say, want cookie. Okay, want cookie. And then we say, want cookie, please. And then we add, I want cookie, please. And these and we're teaching it in lots of different ways so that it's not always the same. These are the manned frames. It's like building a car, right? The train. So, you know, we've got the main thing, which was the request for the thing you want, but we have to start hitching other things, other cars to this train so that eventually the child says, I want a cookie, please. Can I have a cookie, please? Um, give me the car, right? We want to find as many different ways to do it as we possibly can. That's manned frames. And it's important that you do the manned frames that because they will want the thing, right? Because uh, if I want a cookie, I want a cookie. And, I, and if I can get the cookie by saying to you, cookie, I will. If I need to say want cookie uh, to get it, I'm willing to do that. It takes a second more. And I want a cookie, please, takes just one more second more. And if I know that every time I do that, I get it. And in the beginning, every time we give them what they want if they ask for it. That's a really important part of this, that they have to get that reinforcer. Later on, you're going to say, you know, we're going to work on waiting. No, you can't have a cookie right now, but you can have one in five minutes, right? And then, no, we can't have a cookie until you eat your vegetables. We're going to put contingency on. No, you can't have a cookie at all, right? We'll work towards But in the beginning, you, you got to make it every time. Because uh, it's hard to learn how to talk in the beginning, especially for our kids. So, uh, but once you start getting man frames, full sentence, then you can start to work on other types of conversation that aren't quite as reinforcing. The reinforcement in the man frame is, I asked for it, I got it. Immediate, right? I want the ice cream, you give me the ice cream. Saying, you know, when you say to your kid, how did it go at school today? There's nothing reinforcing there, right? But if we teach them that, oh, you know, you, you, this is how you do this, and then you respond, and then I'll leave you alone, <laughs> right? Uh, it happens. Conversation happens. But it starts with manding, and then man frame, and then branching out from there. We can talk about those jargon terms later on. But man frame, it's an important part of this journey to conversation. Don't let anybody leave it out. Hey, thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.